Hi guys, welcome to my very first YouTube video. Now this video I'm going to be talking about my tips and advice on how to do really well at uni as well as my experiences at uni. So I'm going to be talking about the things that I really loved about uni and the things I didn't like so much. So all good fun and I hope you guys um, really enjoyed this video and you also give this video a thumbs up please and possibly a subscribe. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video and stay tuned for more. Okay, so my tips for doing really well at uni. Now, I think the tips I'm going to offer you today, um, they're all based on my own experiences at uni. And I found that like those tips and advice I'm offering you guys, it helped me do really well. So I just thought I'd kindly share with you guys and hopefully it'll help you as much as it helped me. So um, one of the tips I have and how to do really well at uni would be to get familiar with your lecturers and seminar tutors. So um, when you start uni, find out about your lecturers, who's going to be teaching you, um, do a bit of research as well into like their subject areas, what they teach, if there's any like research papers that they um, have worked on before. And I say this because just by doing a bit of research into your lecturers and your seminar tutors, um, you'll be able to apply what you've learnt about them whenever you see them. And to me, I think it shows that you're genuinely interested in their subject area. Um, you're really enthusiastic about the subject as well that you're studying. And I think as well, not don't just like read um, the stuff that they've done, but also do some reading like outside of the curriculum around that subject and read like um, like articles and news articles that happen that relate to your subject. And then if you can, apply it in your lectures and seminars or even coursework, um, obviously depending on the requirements, because I think really it shows that you have a genuine interest um, in what you're studying and you really enjoy the subject. Um, and I found that just by applying that, that idea myself, um, you know, it, it showed how enthusiastic I was um, about the subject that I was studying um, and yeah, it just looks really impressive, I think. Um, and overall, I think by the time they give you a reference, I'll be able to come out with all these positive things about you. So not only, you know, you hard working, you attend uh, lectures and you get the work done and everything, but they'll also be able to say, well, look, hey, I think this subject, um, really matters to the student they are really enthusiastic about it and i can see that they're keen to get into this industry so i think definitely there's little ways of showing others i think that you are enthusiastic and you're really keen to learn and i think as well like one of the things i did was um like if i attended a lecture on that particular day and i had that that lecture i would do some reading around that that topic and then i'd look for like um like an article and then I'll bring up in a lecture and ask questions after the lecture's finished I'll say oh um you know to my lecturer oh I found this article online um what do you think about this issue and then I'll kind of like apply what I've learned to the article I think it just shows as well that you understand the topic and you've used what they've given you so I think definitely that helps um but yeah definitely take that on board um it definitely helps me it it gave a really good impression, I think, as well. So definitely take that on board. Um, so my next tip would be that you should really network well and make friends and try and do this um, as soon as you can in your first year. Um, you know, obviously uni, you know, it's a time to do academically well and professionally well, but it's also a time as well to form new connections, form new friendships, learn even more from each other um, you know I mean who knows who you could be meeting the people that you meet they could have um, knowledge on particular areas or a particular industry that you're interested in and I think you're again you're gaining further insight into what that industry is like because they may have experience of working in the industry um, but yeah definitely and I think as well when you network well and you meet others not only, you know, you're forming new friendships, but I think also you're making the university experience a lot more enjoyable. Um, you know, because, again, you're forming connections, you're having a good balance between work and personal life, and it just makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. Um, so definitely um, take that into consideration. 
Um, and I think as well, um, not only is it good to like network well with others and form friendships, but I think also another benefit of it would be, um, I think in the long term, for, like for me, I realised that the people I met at uni, they ultimately became my, my lifelong friends. Um, and I think really like sometimes people might underestimate um, like that and, and definitely I think even after you've finished uni, people you stay in contact with, um, you know, it's just so amazing to see what they're all up to and how well they're doing. And I think as well in some ways you kind of like mentor each other and give each other advice and you know, especially you know in times if you're stressed as well, you have each other to kind of like lean on and ask for help and I think definitely helps with like stress management as well at uni like even during uni and after uni that like definitely helps um but yeah it also helps with like forming good work life balance um but yeah definitely don't take that for granted um university is a place where you can meet loads of amazing interesting people from different backgrounds um and you're gonna learn so much not just from the curriculum that you're taught but even from the people around you. So definitely, it's an amazing experience. Um, one of the other tips I have would be that you should know about support services at uni um, in your first year. Uh, I say this because in your second and your third year, you might find it hard. You might, you, I mean, you might, you might, you might not definitely find it hard, but you might struggle with, for example, like writing short essays or um, maybe like finding internships and I think if you find support services in your first year early and you know how to access them then I think by the time you hit your second and your third year everything will be a lot more easier because you already know like how to contact support services so definitely um, know about the support that's available to you early um, that way by the time you hit your second and your third year it'll be so much easier like you'll know how to get help um, you'll know who to contact, you'll be less stressed because you already know who you're going to go to. Um, and that definitely helps me, I think, as well. Whenever I needed help with like knowing how to reference using Harvard, um, the system, and I think because I was able to master that earlier on and I knew how to do it based on the support services, um, the webinars that they provided me with and the appointments, it meant that I wasn't stressed in the second and third year because I already, kn I already knew um, what the referencing system um, was needed and I knew how to use it. So definitely it helped, I was less stressed because I already knew about the system and how it worked. Um, one of my other tips would be to join clubs and societies. Um, I think this is really important. Um, again, it, it kind of um, reinforces the idea of making university more enjoy enjoyable, um, having a good work-life balance and I think Joining clubs and societies, um, again, it, it really increases your skills, I think, as well. So, you know, for example, like, say if you want to join, like, a sports society, you're increasing your skills in collaboration and teamwork and concentration, and the list goes on. And I think also it shows your employer that you have a personality outside the workplace, you have of interest, and... You're going to be able to fit in well with their culture so definitely don't take that for granted um university is going to expand your mind in so many ways and it's going to teach you so much about yourself that you never even realized um and you're gonna meet some amazing people it's just going to be continuous um but yeah that's what i've learned so far um one of my other tips would be choose your elective um electives extremely wisely um I found for me that when I had the chance of choosing my electives in my semester two, I was able to choose electives um, that suited my career interests and my my career ambitions. And I feel that if you're not sure about what electives to choose, then you can always go to um, your course leaders and ask them for advice. And I'm, I'm sure they'll definitely be able to help you. Or you could also talk to your careers advisor at uni as well. And then also be able to kind of guide you in the right direction as to what electives you should choose um, based on your strengths and your career ambitions. So definitely, I think, choose your electives wisely, even in your first, your second and third year. 
Um, another tip would be to form study groups at uni. I feel that for me personally, that helped me um, not only form new connections, but also helped me gain more confidence. Um, you know, as you're forming um, like team working skills at the same time, especially with, like with group projects. So another amazing tip I'd love to offer you guys would be um, when you're at uni and you're in your first year, um, you should try to form study groups. Um, I feel that for me that definitely helped. Um, I found that it made studying a lot more enjoyable um, and also means that you're going to be able to learn from others. So for example, like you might meet someone in your group and they might be really good at Excel or in a particular um, uh, area within Excel, like forecasting or something like that. And you might actually learn from them or they might be um, like stronger in that area. Um, so I feel that definitely it helps. It enables you to learn from each other. Um, yeah, I found that really, really um, enjoyable. Um, Another tip I'd love to offer you guys would be, um, it's okay if you don't know what career you want. Um, because, I say this because, you know, when you're at uni, um, you know, you'll know, you'll, you'll have an idea as to kind of, you, you might have an idea as to, you know, like what career you want to get into. And that's fine, but not everyone has that, um, that knowledge straight away. So, for example, like you might be studying like a business related degree and then you might all of a sudden have to do like a marketing module. Um, and then you might find that you really, really enjoyed that marketing module. And I think that if you really enjoyed like, that particular module, then then that's telling you something. Perhaps you should um, go into that career. I think definitely, um, you know, go with your gut instinct. If you're not sure... Keep exploring, it's okay if you don't know straight away. Um, also, I think as well, do as many internships as you can, get much um, and get as much knowledge um, and employability um, knowledge as possible. Um, and I think as well, even if you're not sure, I think internships, work experience, part-time jobs, it all kind of helps you work out um, like what particular areas you really enjoyed, um, but yeah, if you don't know straight away, that's fine. You're going to get there. Uh, for some people, they'll know straight away. Others, it might take longer, but that's fine because you're going to get there in the end. Um, and if you're still not sure, go to your careers um, team. They'll definitely be able to guide you. Um, but yeah, if you're not sure, um, you know, go and get some advice from your careers team. Um, but yeah, it's fine. You're going to get there. It'll take time, but you're going to get there and you're going to be fine. Um, but yeah, another amazing tip I'd love to offer you guys in your first year would be you should attend all lectures. Um, don't underestimate the importance of it. Um, I know quite a few people um, that might, you know, sort of think, oh, um, the first year doesn't actually count towards my final mark. I don't see why I need to attend all lectures, but... I feel that um, just by attending all lectures, you're going to get into really good habits early. I think the earlier you get into good habits, the better, because it means that by the time you hit your second and your third year, um, you'll get into those good habits, you'll repeat themselves, those good habits, um, and you'll ultimately do really well. Um, and also, I think as well, when you attend the lectures, um, most of the time like your lecturers might give you some insight into what the coursework should include. And I think just by attending those lectures, it means that you're not going to miss out on what was being said and you're going to include all the relevant information in there. So don't underestimate the importance of that. Um, but yeah, that's that's really, really vital. Um, another amazing tip I'd love to offer you guys, um, in addition to that, would be you should get help from your lecturer if you're not sure of something. Like, it's okay at uni if you don't understand something. Honestly, it's fine. Like, we're all learning. It's fine. Um, you know, that's what university is all about. It's about, um, like developing other skills, finding yourself, um, getting stronger in areas. Um, so definitely get help from your lecturer. It's okay. And I think as well, like it shows your lecturer that, um, 
you know, like you're determined to get it right, to get it perfect. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid of asking for help. That's what they're there for. And they'll honestly be really happy to help you. Um, but yeah, definitely take that on board. Um, another tip I'd love to offer you guys would be you should master how to write good essays early. Um, I feel that if you do that early, it actually means that by the time you hit your second and your third year, you won't actually be stressed. Like you'll know what a good essay involves because you would have familiarised yourself in your first year how to do that really well. Um, and you would have used that feedback that they gave to you in your first year, in your second and your third year. Um, and I think by then you would have learned the structure that they'd expect you to use. So definitely, I think um, and the earlier you get to know what's required of you, the better, because you'll be less stressed um, and ultimately you'll get really good marks. Um, but yeah, definitely take all of that on board. Um, I found that in my experience that really helped me um, and it meant that I was going to do really, really well um, in the end. Um, but yeah, definitely take that on board. Um, and I, I think as well, um, in your first year, it's understandable, I think, as well, if you're not sure, if you're a bit worried as well about uni, um, you know, about how it works and the workload and everything. Because to be honest with you, like, everyone feels that way, it's fine. Like, I felt like that. At first, I was a bit nervous. But then I think when you talk about it and you get help from um, the uni and you form friendships, I think, and also as well, if you join societies, everything falls into place. Like, you feel less nervous because you'd have realised by then there's other people that feel exactly the same way as you do, and that's fine. So I think just to add on to that point would be, um, it's okay to be afraid. Um, it's okay to be nervous because, you know, it just shows, you know, um, you know that you obviously, you know, you're taking on a new chapter, and you know you're embracing a whole new experience, and that's fine. It's okay if you're scared and nervous, it's fine, because we've all been there. I was definitely nervous, but then I think in the end I was more confident. Um, the more I got to meet people, the more I asked for help, the more I explored areas of myself, of areas that I um, am definitely strong at. So for example, leadership, and I think uni sort of helped me find that. It helps me realise my um, my leadership potential and also helped me like find myself in terms of like hobbies and of interests um, just by joining different societies. So it helps me find myself in those areas. So don't be nervous if you're nervous about going to uni. This is truly a chance to not only learn but also um, find out more about yourself form amazing new connections so definitely do not worry you're going to be okay and um, just stay positive stay strong uh, be honest if you don't understand something it's okay um but yeah do not worry at all um but yeah definitely take all of that on board and don't be afraid um moving on to a entirely different point um my experience is at uni so um, hmm, the bit you'll, you've all been waiting for, um, well, I had a really, really positive experience at uni, I found that, um, uh, it really helped me develop, uh, confidence, definitely, so I think before uni, I was a little bit, kind of, like, shy and a bit nervous when it came to, like, giving presentations, but then after, when I was given like group projects at uni and I had to present um, to like the class, I gained confidence in myself. So I think as well, like at uni, it helps you realise and helps you kind of like take on new challenges. Um, it's like ultimately, like you have to do that group project, you have to do that presentation. So you kind of like learn to be a lot more confident. And I think as well, what helped me was like watching other people. Um, I'm kind of working out like how I can be more confident in presentations. So the thing as well, like what I really enjoyed about uni was 
the fact that it helped me personally like um become a lot more stronger in areas that I was less confident about like presentations for example um another thing I liked as well about uni would be um the electives um so, so obviously like you know you do get given compulsory modules um but I think the elect the electives it gives you the opportunity to um like choose your own specialisms and I really like that so as those modules were like linked to my own career goals and I really like that um so I love the level of independence there um and also liked as well the fact that there's a lot of independence in terms of like working out what to do so you kind of figure it out for yourself and as well um you you know you get the chance to write like amazing like assignments and research articles yourself um, and assignment papers I just love that the fact that um you know like you decide for yourself what to include um but yeah I really really enjoyed that I mean I could literally sit here and talk about what I enjoyed forever like for a really long time um things I didn't like about uni there wasn't really anything I didn't like um I mean I found my uni was like really supportive um all the lectures were fun um I really enjoyed what I was studying um they were all like really interactive as well um but yeah I had a really positive experience um but yeah um there was something I didn't really enjoy but yeah that's it guys from me um I hope you really enjoyed my video um I will be creating more um videos on a variety of different topics so stay tuned um videos very shortly um yeah i hope you enjoyed my video um and i'll see you guys very soon thanks